Hey ho guys, it is I, Leo Hightower, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. In the last episode, we started with our, we started on the path to Aqua Star, and we managed to get the six Crystal Shards in the first two levels. Now we're going to move on to the third level. But first, what I want to do is thank you guys very much for watching this series. If you're still watching and everything, thank you very much. If you're new to this series, then welcome aboard. <sighs> it's been a while since I've done one of these episodes, and I apologize for the length that it's taken to put out any new episodes. Things have been a little turbulent lately, but I am back, and I'm ready to kick some pink puff butt again with this game but what i want to do right now is i want to go back to one of the stages and i want to get uh, a specific copy ability so if you guys don't mind just give me a minute oh and if you liking if you're liking this lp and this video please leave a like leave a comment and click and click on the subscribe bell to get notified whenever i upload it really helps but for now Give me a minute, you guys. I'll be right back. A few minutes later. Alrighty. Now that we're back, we can properly start uh, stage three of Aquastar. I had to go back and get the stone ability because we need the stone ability for this part. And anyway, I want to say something. Hello to my OP audience. How are you all doing? Are you doing all right? Are you enjoying the OP? I know it's been a while since I've done any episodes, but I wanted to let you all know that I am back to recording and things for the most part have been turbulent. I've been trying to get, uh, find a job and I've been trying to do other little things. I am not going to spoil what it is I'm doing, but I will say that it's a project that I haven't worked on in since 2012 and whatnot. But anyway, I love this stage's music and I love its design. We're basically on a sandy beach and look at this, we're about to pass some sand castles. This is a very, very lovely stage and I love the music to go along with it. Anyway, we skip past this part and there are more sand, sand castles and structures for us to go through. We're basically on a sandy beach with a lovely, lovely sand sculptures and whatnot. And it's the music for the stage. I keep, I sound like a broken record. I'm repeating myself. Chalk it up to me not doing this for a while. But anyway, that enemy is unique. He'll basically swing his maracas at us while uh, when we walk past him. And there are also crabs in the area that we need to do. Bronto birds and various enemies. I want that enemy rare. Because I want the stone and cutter ability. We need the stone and cutter ability before a later part in the level. But if we use stone, uh, the stone cutter ability, we can transform into the various uh, helper characters from um, Kirby's Dream Land 3. We transform into the slime helper character, we transform into Rick and the Hamster, and we transform into the bird uh, helper. I really need to play Kirby's Dream Land 3 because that's one, uh, one specific uh, game in the Kirby series I never actually touched upon. I have played Kirby Superstar, that was my start. I play Kirby uh, 64 this game. I play Kirby... Hmm. I play Kirby's Adventure, the original on the NES, and I play Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, I am playing Kirby's Epic Yarn right now, and I play Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I don't think I've played any other Kirby game, which is just ridiculous. Oh, uh, and I play Kirby's Avalanche and Kirby's Dream Course. I really need to get into more of the mainstream games, including the uh, the Dark Matter trilogy more than anything. Kirby's Dream Land and Kirby's Dream Land 2. And Kirby's Dream Land 3. I really need to get into those games more than anything. 
But for now, let's continue. Anyway, we come to this area, and they have some of the pillars rise up whenever we land on them. And they have little uh, stars on top of them. Some of the pillars will rise and everything. And oh, right! I forgot about this part. We need this. We need the cutter and the bomb ability for this area because, believe it or not, there's a crystal shard in that uh, specific area. Dang it. I'm gonna have to come back through with the stone and cutter ability, uh, the bomb and cutter abilities later on. But for now, what we're gonna do is I wanna get the crystal shard that's really, really hard to obtain. Thanks, DDD! But yeah, King DDD launched us to the next area in um, this stage. But yeah, anyway. Cutter and, uh, stone. We transform into various characters from Kirby's Dreamland and, uh, stage each, what is it, uh, Kirby's Dreamland in general. And I really gotta look up the names of these characters because, uh, I know of Rick the Hamster and I know of Gooey, that much I do know, but some of the other characters' names escape my, uh, escape me for some weird reason. But anyway, we destroyed that mini boss and we get another crystal shard for it. We get the, we get uh, the second crystal shard for efforts. But there's a crystal shard right there and, uh, that one's gonna be difficult to obtain. I have the ability to do it. The stone and the boulder ability. Okay. Now, I transformed into Rick the Hamster. That's the character that's gonna get us up there, but never have I read uh, Rick's ability to climb walls. And this is gonna take a while, but yeah. We need to hug the wall, and we need to push the A, uh, push A to climb up because Rick can uh, climb up the wall, and that's how we're gonna get the crystal shard for this area. And there we go. I no longer need this ability, so yeah. Ugh. Bye bye, stone and cutter. Ugh. I apologize uh, that I don't have that much commentary for this uh, area and stage, y'all. Uh, but that first uh, crystal shard, I'm gonna have to go back with the bomb and the cutter ability in order to get it. The exploding crystal shard, I mean, the exploding shurikens. Ow! But yeah. Anyway. If you saw earlier, we stepped on those platforms, and, uh... We ended up, uh, causing some of the platforms to fall down. And we've come to the end of the stage. And for our efforts, we get a star. Very nice. But what I want to do is, I want to go back to this stage. But first, I need a special ability in order to do it, so, uh... Give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Again. A few minutes later. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm gonna go back and get this crystal shard. And I'm gonna skip to that uh, part where we missed the crystal shard. So, uh, I'll see you guys again in just a minute. Just give me a little bit. 
Alrighty. Use the bomb shuriken to blow up that wall and get the crystal shard right there. Alrighty. And I got full health, and I don't need this ability anymore, so... Exit. Alrighty, now we can move on to the next stage. Alrighty, now we're swimming through ooh, this stage. And I'm already taking damage as I descend down. Mother Pfeiffer. But yeah, now we're underwater and we're swimming through this area. I apologize if my commentary is not the best, y'all. So you'll have to put up with it. I apologize. But yeah, in this area, in this part, we're now swimming underwater. No, the boulders don't give me the rock ability as I thought. I thought as much. Uh, I was hoping that I could get rock because I want to use rock for a very specific area. But they're giving us a lot of bomb abilities. I do want some of that food at the bottom. And we've heard this music before in uh, Rockstar as we explored some of the ruins, but now we're underwater. And it just feels so, so, hmm, mystifying? I think that's the word. I can't, eh, eh, I'm not sure. Swim up. Because the current's going to carry us through the area. Oh, the crystal shard was right there. I have to swim down in order to get it. Got it! Okay. Now we're gonna swim through this area with its current and I die. Dang it! Sorry, Kirby. Ah, fooey. Anyway, swim through this area with its high current. And avoid the enemies as we're swimming through this area. This is, I think, the area I wanted to use the stone ability in. The crystal shard is right there, but you gotta be careful because the current can push you da push you upward. Got it! Okay. But you can also swim downward to get the crystal shard if I'm right. I got bomb sh I got the bomb shuriken again. So that should be good. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm in full concentration mode. I don't want to do anything that might actually, you know... Ugh. But anyway, we have another boss, and it's dead. But in that one, you have to fight the current in order to beat that boss. Ah. Uh. And boulders are going to come flying out of the uh, background. So what we need to do is we need to swim up and down in order to avoid them. But we get some uh, health along the way, so that's a good thing. Ah! 
Ah, shoot! There's the crystal shard! There's the crystal shard! I missed it! 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 Shoot! 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 I missed the chance to get the crystal shard. I'm just gonna have to die in order to, uh... Hey, get back to that part. I apologize. So, shoot. I'm gonna have to take another... Kirby, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take another death for you. <sighs> I forgot the crystal shard was at the bottom of this at this ravine with the current pushing and everything. And there we go. Oh boy, I swear, it's so difficult in, uh, to remember where some of the crystal shards are, but there's some I do remember. Alright, come out of this area and there- oh, I guess I was thinking of another stage. But anyway, we come to the exit of this stage and... I got the card! I got the enemy info card. Okay, sorry about that. But now we come to the boss of this area, and as painful as it is for me to s fight this boss without a copy ability, I'm gonna get a copy ability. So back to stage three. I will see you guys when, uh, back at the stage select screen, so give me a minute. I apologize. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, now we're ready to take on the boss. And if I remember correctly, I think the name of the boss, uh, boss is named Acro, or something like, th or something, I can't remember. God, why am I so terrible at remembering some of these bosses' names? Uh, but regardless, let's fight the boss of uh, Aquastar. I wanted a copy ability because it's a little tricky to fight this boss without one. But Acro is not really all that difficult. He will swim through the water and uh, he will attempt to uh, uh, spit enemies out at us. But after a couple of hits, Aqua will fall down, and the ground will start to quake. The ground starts to fall apart, so what you have to do is, you have to swim. Swim like your life depends on it. And I think after this, I'm probably going to grab two more slices of that cheese pizza I had earlier. Ugh. And if I remember correctly, I think you fight this boss in uh, Dreamland 3, if I remember correctly. Of course, you can choose to uh, swallow and spit some of the enemies out at this boss, but that's going to take a good while. I prefer to fight this boss with the copy ability. And the exploding shurikens really helps out. Because all you have to do is just point and click. Point and throw. And he is down. And there's the crystal shard for Aquastar. We are done. Whew. Hi, Kerb. Oh, cutscene time. I love this cutscene.
That cutscene is so funny. They're playing uh, Skip the Stones, and Kirby tries to make a big throw, but unfortunately, a big waterfall swipes, uh, swips him up, and they move on to the next stage. We are now entering stage four, Neo Star. But I'm gonna save Neo Star for another video and Let's Play session, because on this one, if I remember correctly, it's a uh, jungle and a lava filled area. So I'm gonna end the video right here. This is Leo Hightower. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Kirby 64. I will see you guys in the next episode. And with that, Leo is out. It feels good to be back doing this Let's Play. See you guys then. See you peeps later. Peace.